We're going to be checking out the five best e-readers. We made this list based on our personal opinion, hours of research, and have listed them based on hardware, performance, design features and price. Included in this list are options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for a budget e-reader for everyday reading, or a high-end e-reader for a great price, there's a product for you. If you want more information, and the latest pricing on the products mentioned today, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get started with the video. At number 5 on our list is the Kindle Paperwhite. This is our best overall e-reader priced at around $149. This makes our list because of its sleek design, glare-free screen, Amazon e-book selection, and the fact that it's waterproof. The Paperwhite is the best-selling product in Amazon's Kindle range. The latest version takes some of the best elements of the top-end Kindle Oasis device, and packages them into a more affordable e-reader. The Kindle Paperwhite is Amazon's mid-range e-reader, sitting between the affordable Kindle, and the top-end Kindle Oasis in Amazon's range. To be honest, the design reflects that. It doesn't feel as premium as the Oasis, mostly as it has a plastic rear. However we found it easy to grasp, and it doesn't look bad. All of that said, we found it got quite grubby with fingerprints on the rear, so it's worth having a microfiber cloth for cleaning. On the bottom edge, you'll find the power button, as well as the micro USB slot for charging. The edges are clear of buttons, so you can comfortably grip the device without pressing anything by mistake. It's worth noting, the bezels around the screen are thicker than on some more upmarket e-readers. These sit flush with the display, giving the Paperwhite a more high-end look than its previous iterations. One omission we noticed is that there aren't any hardware buttons for changing the page. Instead, you'll be using the touchscreen to flip through pages. We've found this to be reactive to the touch, so you won't struggle scrubbing through pages in your latest book. This isn't much different than interacting with modern tablets, or mobile devices. The display itself is 6 inches with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch, which is the same as the last Paperwhite. The general view is that 300 pixels per inch is the perfect resolution for reading text. The brightness has been slightly improved, although it's not something we noticed particularly. Peeking at the waterproof qualities of this device, it can survive for up to an hour at depths of 2 meters, so it's 100% pool or bath ready. On to battery life, Amazon claims the Kindle Paperwhite is set to last for weeks, and we found that to be about right. We used the Paperwhite for roughly an hour a day for the past week, and it only dropped around 30% of its battery over that time. This means it should last for around three weeks between charges, depending on how much you use it. Altering the levels of brightness will see the battery survive for different amounts of time, but the Kindle Paperwhite doesn't take long to charge up. You'll have to charge the Paperwhite with a micro USB cable, which means you'll need a different cable to your phone charger if it uses USB-C, or it's an iPhone. Another feature taken from the Oasis, and packed into the Paperwhite is audiobooks integration. This enables you to listen to your Audible titles on the Paperwhite using Bluetooth headphones, or a Bluetooth speaker, which we loved. You can upload them all to your Kindle Paperwhite, and then connect to your device easily to listen to your books while you're on the move. To be able to fit audiobooks in, there's now either 8GB or 32GB of storage inside the Kindle Paperwhite, depending on what model you choose. The larger version is better if you want to listen rather than read, whilst the 8GB is perfectly fine for ebooks. Looking at the software, there's a useful dark mode to allow you to read white text on a dark page, which makes it much easier on your eyes. Brightness is also easy to control with a few taps, and we found it easy to switch up the settings for a variety of other features too. To summarize, we love the Paperwhite's waterproof design, audiobook integration, and overall great reading experience. The only downsides are that it does have a plastic design, limited color options, and it's still using a micro USB, rather than a modern USB-C. Everything about the Kindle Paperwhite is better than the normal cheaper Kindle model, and while it's not as premium as the Kindle Oasis, it isn't far off. By the way, our review of the Oasis is coming later in this video. You'll want to buy the Kindle Paperwhite if you're after a great reading experience, and you're not too worried about having a top-end design. Okay, so at number 4 on our list is the Kobo Former. This is our best waterproof e-reader priced at around $250. This makes our list because of its auto blue light reduction, large 8-inch touchscreen, and high water resistance capabilities. Let's take a look. 
The Kobo former features an 8-inch display with 300 pixels per inch. It's a similar size to your average paperback book, with brilliant clarity making it a joy to read your favorite titles with. One standout feature on the Kobo former is its HZO protection technology. The device is coated with an extremely thin layer of special material, which protects it against water damage even if submerged for an entire hour, and it's also dustproof, so it's safe to tote it to the beach. The Kobo former is light enough to hold in one hand which we liked. It has a perforated effect on the rear of it to help you grip with one edge of the e-reader is slightly bent. This design makes it feel a bit odd to hold at first, but much like with the strange design of the Amazon Kindle Oasis, it's something we got used to holding relatively quickly. On the edge, where you'll grasp the device, you'll find two large buttons for cycling through pages. The touchscreen itself was as speedy as you'd expect from an e-reader, but we just found the buttons a bit easier than swiping the display. The display here is e-ink, so everything you read will be in black and white, but the picture is more than clear enough. It's worth mentioning, if you're into graphic novels or comics, it isn't quite up to scratch. The Kobo former is waterproof, so you can read this in the bath or at a beach, without worrying about damaging it from a splash of water. The former may not have an all-metal design, but it's comfortable to hold when you're reading, and you'll find the display clear enough to read a variety of books comfortably. The e-reader will also automatically adjust to suit landscape or portrait orientation, which is a nice feature. The brightness is easy enough to change with a couple of presses on the device's screen, and it's particularly bright when you hit the 100% mark. One of our favorite features is the natural light idea. This feature makes reading easier on your eye, by taking away the blue light that's proven to keep your brain up at night. You can have this mode on automatically for dark reading locations, or you can turn it on manually. The Kobo interface is easy to understand as soon as you pull it out of the box, but the store is where the platform can be a little let down. That's because it's a bit more limited than Amazon's, which is a trade-off you need to decide if you're happy with. Looking at battery life, it took our Kobo former only about two hours using a micro USB cable to charge. Kobo estimates you'll get six weeks of battery out of the former depending on use, and that's exactly what we'd expect from a device like this. The ability to upload ebook files from some other sources is a nice touch. To summarize, we loved its strong battery life, comfortable reading experience, and solid waterproof build. We didn't like that it has a lackluster design, limited ebook store, and it's on the expensive side compared to the other options on our list. The Kobo former comes with a high price, but if you're after a new e-reader that offers a fantastic reading experience, then the former could still be a strong choice. At number 3 is the Nook Glowlight Plus. This is our best Android e-reader at around $128. This makes our list because it supports both PDF and EPUB formats, utilizes the large Barnes & Noble library, plus runs Android, so you can install other apps. The design boasts a black, rubberized plastic body, and it measures 8.3 by 5.9. The Glowlight Plus has a nice minimalist appearance, with the physical page turning buttons located on the bezels on both sides of the display. This device has an IPX7 waterproof rating, so it can be soaked in 3 feet of water for up to 30 minutes. The Glowlight Plus has a 7.8 inch, 300 pixels per inch recessed screen with 19 LEDs. Most PC users will pick this reader because it operates on Android, which allows you to install third-party apps on the device via a USB cord, which is its true selling point. For example, if you buy books often from Amazon, you can install Kindle and have instant access to your library. The Glowlight Plus can hold in excess of 3,000 ebooks, which is enough even for the most avid readers. To summarize, we loved its big screen, bright, color changing front light, and the fact you can add other apps so it's versatile. The only negatives are that it has poor software compared to other options out there. This is our pick for an Android friendly ebook reader that you can extend using third party apps, and can still take care of as many books as you would want to read. Okay, so at number 2 on our shortlist is the Kobo Clara HD. This is our best nighttime e-reader at around $159. This makes our list because it reduces sleep disturbing blue light, has a color changing front light, and has a lightweight design that's easy to grip. At 166 grams this is a similar weight to the standard Kindle model, and quite a bit lighter than the Kindle Paperwhite. That's pretty much ideal in our view. We found it was easy to hold for long periods of reading, but also wouldn't blow away in the slightest gust of wind. The size of the Clara HD also means it's easy to hold in one hand. 
There's still room for a 6-inch screen though, which is the most common size on e-readers at the moment. Despite the 6-inch screen, this is still a very compact device with dimensions of 157 by 111 by 8.3 mm. The Kobo Clara is also the lightest e-reader on our list, weighing only 5.85 ounces, which is 166 grams. It's made of plastic, so it doesn't feel as premium as the latest version of the Kindle Oasis, but it's easy to grip. The rear of the Clara HD has an odd effect, that helps your fingertips hold on. You won't find yourself tapping on any buttons around the edges while you're reading, as there's only a power button on the bottom of the device that sits next to a micro USB charging port. You can easily change the brightness on the display to make it easier to read in bright sunlight, or you can leave it on the auto brightness mode, which we found worked well. Kobo's own Comfort Light Pro technology will also change the color temperature and hue of the display depending on what time of day it is. This makes it an ideal reader for night owls. E-readers generally have great battery life, lasting for around a month, and we'd expect a similar amount of time from the Kobo Clara HD. The Kobo Clara HD comes with the company's own software on board, and it's easy to get your head around and set up. This is our top pick for anyone who wants an e-reader, but doesn't need any top-end features such as a premium feel metal design, or audiobook integration. If you're looking for a mid-price device, it would be hard to go wrong with the Kobo Clara HD. At number one on our list is the Amazon Kindle Oasis. This is our best high-end e-reader at around $270. This makes our list because it has a beautiful design, is waterproof, has a rotating screen, and longer-lasting battery life. To cut a long story short, if you're looking for the best e-reader available, this is it. The Kindle Oasis has the biggest and best display. It's also built with premium materials, and has features that aren't available on any other Kindle. It's a small thing that makes quite a difference to the reading experience. The Kindle Oasis has an aluminium body, asymmetrical design, flush screen and page turn buttons. It's actually 6 grams lighter than the old model, and 0.1 millimeters thicker, not that you'd notice. The buttons are responsive, and for many they will be the reason to buy it, as page turn buttons are simply better than just a touchscreen when reading. The 7 inches display, about the size of a small paperback, is crisp, and a delight to read, whilst the warm light function moves from brilliant white to a warm yellow over 24 gradations. The Oasis is water resistant to IPX8 standards, which means it'll survive for up to 60 minutes at depths of 2 meters in water. While the Oasis is well made, with no overly sharp edges and a solid feeling aluminium frame, the flush screen feels vulnerable so you'll definitely need some sort of case for it. The Amazon Kindle Oasis is for people who value their reading experience above all else, and are willing to throw a good chunk of money at a device that will deliver that experience. It's not the cheapest device around, but if you're a serious reader then this is our top choice for you, and you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and it helped you out in any way, please hit like, and subscribe for more tech reviews from the channel. Remember, all links to the products featured today can be found in the description below. Hope to see you guys in the next video. See you soon.